Hi, I'm Joe, and we've got Darren here. So we're just going to run through how to install um, roller blinds. So we've just basically gave, given a briefing on how to measure up roller blinds, doing an um, inside mount and also outside mount. Now we've got um, two roller blinds. We've made two rollers, one for the inside and one for the outside. And we're just going to demonstrate um, how to install both, both um, styles of blinds. So here we are. I've got Darren on the drill just so I can run through things as he's doing it. Um, this is a nice easy one, so it's timber fit. So I'll just I'll give us one of those screws, Darren. So what we've got, we've got timber fit. You'll get supplied with a nice little, what's that, a 15 mil screw. Nice and easy, straight into timber. Um, so what I'll get, I'll get Darren to screw in the um, brackets. Now, we've already measured, we've determined which side we're gonna have the the chain either on the right or left. This one we've got chain on the right. Now Darren's just installing the pin end, okay? So the pin end is the, um, the bracket just with the little circular part just in the dead center. So nice and easy. Now the other bracket, which is this one here, has a little cross on it, okay? So that's the chain drive or the um, control side, okay? So we've determined that's gonna be on the right-hand edge. So Darren's just gonna screw that in. So I'll just hand Darren the blind. So this is the right one. Now, just hold that end for us, Darren. So I just want to show people, so we've got the chain drive end or the control end down that end, which is the right, right side for us. Now this end, the little pin side is a spring-loaded pin, okay? So the easiest way to install is to install this end first. And basically, Darren, I'll let Darren do it by himself, but if you have got someone to help you, it is a lot easier. So he's gonna line that up into that pin end. Now he, feel, he can feel that it's in, he's gonna push it as far across as he can, and then he'll line up this chain side um, and connect it in. So it's got a little lug which sort of pops down into the, into the carrier. So one thing we need to check, okay, I just wanna make sure this, because on it you can have the control side around the wrong way, okay? We gotta make sure that the, both the chains are hanging vertically down, okay? Reason why is when we get to pull the chain, it's gotta pull up and down like this. Okay, so like I said earlier on, um, on all the instructions about our componentry, we use a continuous chain. We're currently using a white chain here to match our white brackets, and we've got a nice white base rail. Okay, so this is called a Ford roll. Okay, so we've basically ordered our blind. We've determined we want an inside mount, right-hand control, Ford roll. Um, so that's basically what we've come to there. All right, so best way to do it is check your blind. So we normally pull it all the way down and all the way up. And now we also supply you with a chain tidy or a um, children's safety control. So we'll put that on later. I just wanted to show you basically the blind sitting inside the recess, okay? Now, I'll just unclip this. So this is also a good little demonstration I'll show you how to take the blind out. So I'll get Darren to do it. So the same way as when we put it in, there is a little um, spring-loaded pin on this side, on the left-hand side. So for Darren to take it out, he's got to lift it up out of the lug and he'll push it over to the left because it's spring-loaded this end. He'll get that side out. He'll make sure he supports the blind so it doesn't come crashing down and pops it out. So we'll just put that one aside for now. Now on the demonstration that we had before on how to measure, we measured the inside, which we've just which we've just installed one, and we also measured an outside. So I've made two blinds, like I said before, and I'm gonna get Darren to now install a roller blind um, outside mount, okay? So now we've got the architraves here. Now we always sort of recommend to people to pre-drill them first. Now, the reason why we do this is so you don't go splitting your architraves. Worst thing to do is just drive a screw straight in, split your architraves, um, and a nice finishing new house, it's just gonna look awful. So Darren's just measuring them now. 
I might even make, speed it up or make it easier. I might even pre-drill for him. So we'll just pre-drill that. Darren will pre-drill that side. Okay, so there we go. So he's just going to change his drill, get the drill bit out, and he's just going to put a drive, uh, Phillips head driver head in, so we can screw these screws in. So there's your control in, mate. So as Darren's going to screw the pin in, I'll just show you. So that's a face-mounted bracket, okay? So it does sit out. So our bracket from front to back, it's sitting out 70 mil, okay? So you've got to understand that's an inside mount. Now we're installing the outside mount. So we've got another blind here. So I'll just grab the blind for Darren. And, uh, I might flip that around. So you've got one. Okay. So, exactly the same as what we we're going to do before with the recess fit is lining up that pin end, okay? So, normally I would help him. I'm just going to demonstrate that one person can do it, but he'll line up that pin end, push it across as far as he can, and then what he's doing now, he's just lining up the other end, the control end, into that lug, okay? So now, that is called a face mount or outside mount roller blind. So the difference from the inside one to the outside one, this is called a stand, um, a back roll or a standard roll. We call it a back roll, okay? So back roll is pretty easy. It means the fabric rolls backwards. So the reason why I've done a back roll on this one, because it's on the outside, I wanted to get my fabric as close to the architrave as possible to eliminate as much light as possible. Okay, so same fabric, same everything, just I've done a backwards roll and it's an outside uh, mount. So same thing, continuous chain, pull the blind up, pull the blind down, nice and easy. So that's pretty much how to install roller blinds um, and we've also demonstrated how to measure um, we've sort of run through everything. The only thing we've just got to finish off is basically just putting uh, children's safeties or hold down. So I think we've got one here. I'll just get one off. So with your children's safety, you will get one of these supplied. So pretty simple. They just clip onto the bottom of your chain. So same thing if it's outside mount. I'll get Darren to do that and also put it on. So we like to have a little bit of tension on the chain. So you don't want it real floppy and dangly, but you also don't want it too tight. So you just need a, just enough tension. So I'll just show you while Darren's holding it. So that's keeping it nice and firm without being too tight. He's just going to put a hold down screw into that. So that's complete and finished. So basically, Children's safety hold down, or a chain tidy they call it, and it just feeds through nice and easy. Okay, so that's how to install a roller blind. Thank you very much.